Hi, welcome to the next session of arithmetic geometric mean inequality. Arithmetic geometric mean inequalities. Uh, this is one of the great chapters. And in previous video, we have learned the basic concepts about the inequalities. In this video, we'll discuss about the for some of the good problems. First problem is A B. If A B and C belongs to the real positive numbers such that a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 1 and prove that a b plus b c plus c d is less than or equal to 1 by now the thing is we need to get the value of a b b c and c d which is less than or equal to 1 by now this is 1 and the given is a plus b plus c plus d is 1 now this is a very tricky question now what trick we used here is this is 1 i can say a plus c plus d upon 4 this one is again a plus b plus c plus d and 1 square is 1 i can write this form right now again I am rearranged this thing a plus b plus c plus d in this form a plus c and b plus d right upon 4 this is square right again if I rearrange this thing this quantity in the form of a plus c plus b plus d right this is a plus sign in between upon 2 then square what I find here is a plus c and b plus d upon 2 this is what this is the arithmetic mean of a plus c and b plus d right Earth, this is written the arithmetic mean and we know that the arithmetic mean is greater than geometric mean I am using the geometric mean here a plus c and b plus d geometric mean here is under root of because here is a two quantity therefore we take the square root this is a plus c and b plus d right and this is here the square sign again I am using the square sign right this was the arithmetic mean and here is the geometric mean now by done this this quantity is square under root that means I can say this is a plus c and b plus d, right I can say this is a b then AC, AB, then BC, then CD, then AD. Right? Now, again I am writing this A plus B plus C plus D here. Square upon, right? Now, this A plus B plus CD is 1, that is 1 upon 4, is greater than or equal to AB, right? Plus BC, plus CD, plus D, right? Now, obviously, all the quantities are positive. And this quantity is obviously greater than or equal to AB plus BC plus CD. Because if you decrease the one in this D and A, D A quantity, because D is positive and A is positive. If you subtract this, this quantity becomes bigger than this quantity. Therefore, if this quantity is less than 1 by 4, this, therefore this quantity is also less than 1 by 4. Hence, prove that AB plus BC plus CD is less than or equal to 1 by 4. Amazing. We have solved this problem, right? So remember this problem. This is very one of the fantastic problems to solve the inequality. Try to get your own. I'm confident you cannot solve this problem in the one stroke. Next problem is again I'm giving you a very decent problem here. ABC again ABC belongs to the real positive numbers. Then prove that A square plus B square upon A plus B plus B square plus C square upon B plus C then plus C square plus A square upon C plus A is greater than equal to A plus B plus. Now it's, it's very difficult to understand how to solve the problem by AMGM inequality. Think about it. Let me give a very simple thing, an AMGM thing here. And the proof, you can say it's a proof also. We know that x minus y whole square is greater than equal to 0 because perfect square therefore it has to be greater than equal to 0. If when x is equal to y, it means I can say x square plus y square minus 2xy is greater than equal to 0. Right? Now it means I can say that x square plus y square is greater than or equal to 2xy right now adding x square plus y square both the side if I'm adding both the quant this equal quantities both the side this becomes 2 pi of x square plus y square is greater than or equal to x square plus y square plus 2xy is x plus y whole square we got this in you and given, given the proof also that pi of x square plus y square is greater than equal to x plus y whole square right and now see the problem a square plus b square upon a plus b b square plus c square upon b plus c and c square plus a square upon c plus if i take th the first quantity this is a square plus b square upon a plus b. now this is a square plus b square upon a plus b now i can say that using this identity or using this relationship i can say that if i use the first quantity that is a square plus b square upon a plus b this means a square plus b square upon a plus b b it means i can say that a square plus b square twice of a square plus b square is greater than or equal to a plus b whole square. And now for this relationship I can say that a square plus b square upon a plus b 
Remember here all are the positive quantities. This is greater than or equal to a plus b by 2. Right? Agar the relationship here a square upon a plus b is greater than or equal to a plus b. Here we have the, all the quantities a square upon a plus b, b square plus c square upon b plus c and c square plus a square upon c plus a. I am rewriting this all this thing. a square plus b square upon a plus b. b square plus c square upon b plus c. And then c square plus a square upon c plus a. Is greater than or equal to a plus b upon 2. This is greater than or equal to b plus c upon 2. And greater than or equal to c plus a upon 2. With used above relationship amgm relationship here right now if i add all these quantities if i add this all these quantities i'll get the inequality as a square plus b square on a plus b i've let me write it at the bottom of this quantity if i sum up these quantities here i get a square plus b square upon a plus b plus b square plus c square upon b plus c plus c square plus a square upon c plus a which is greater than or equal to a plus b by 2 plus b plus c by 2 plus c plus a by 2 that is a plus b plus right here is 2a 2 2 times of b 2 times of c and the number 2 is cancelled out and hence proved that this quantity is greater than or equal to a plus b we are again there was a tricky because we cannot analyze this thing we have used this amg property over here and solve the problem right one more problem prove that again here is the a b c d r are real positive quantity. Whenever you have to solve the aim gym quality, we assume that all the quantities are real and positive. Prove that a square upon a plus b plus b square upon b plus c plus c square upon c plus d plus d square upon d plus a is greater than or equal to half. So this quantity is greater than or equal to half. Again, think about it. There, again, there is a trick to solve this problem. Uh, see here. See carefully here. I know that a minus b plus b minus c plus c minus a is equal to 0. c minus d plus d minus a equal to 0. a minus b plus b minus c plus c minus d plus d minus a. Because I have taken the tilt d because there is a problem including the d also here. This is a minus b then b minus c. b is to be cancelled and c is to be cancelled and d is to be cancelled and a is to be cancelled. This quantity is 0. Now can I rearrange this a minus b as? Can I write this a minus b as a square minus b square upon a plus b? Right? Now I can write this b minus c as b square minus c square upon b plus c. Now I can write this c, square, c minus g as c square minus d square upon c plus d. And similarly d minus a as d square minus a square upon d plus a. Which is equal to 0. Right? Now taking all the positive sign on, positive sign on the one side positive sign this says that a square upon a plus b plus this b square upon b plus c plus c square upon c plus d plus d square upon d plus a is equal to taking all negative sign to the right hand sign towards the zero it says that b square upon a plus b plus c square upon b plus c plus d square upon c plus d and plus a square upon d plus right here is the quantity here's the quantities right now this quantity is these two quantities are equal now how to utilize this thing in the given problem the given problem was to solve that a square to prove that a square upon a plus b b square upon b plus c c square upon c plus c and d square upon d plus now if i rewrite this problem again if i've taken if i use this problem again uh, now this is the relationship was given in initially this was the relationship was given. Now, if I now this is t. Now, if I take multiply both the sides of the two, I get this quantity as twice of a square upon a plus b plus b square upon b plus c and c square upon c plus d and d square upon d plus a as greater than or equal to one. Right? Now we have to prove these quantities. Twice of these quantities. Now, these two quantities are equal. Now, can we use this quantity relationship over here? twice of this thing that means if you use the one time this quant this expression and one time this expression that means if i use the one time this expression and one time this expression this will give me as this will give me the expression as a square plus b square upon a plus b plus b square plus c square upon b plus c plus c square plus d square upon c plus d and this is plus d square plus a square upon 
b plus a. We have to prove that it's greater than 1. Yes, we can prove that. In just previous problem, we have proved that this quantity is greater than equal to 1. Greater than equal to 1, which is greater than equal to a plus b plus c plus d. In just previous problem, we have solved this inequality. And we know that a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 1. And it's given. Because the problem is given a plus b plus c plus d is 1. And in the previous problem, we have solved this kind of a problem. So, get the previous problem and solve this problem also. Thank you.